Hey, I went and grabbed the TS-10 because today we're going to install the SP-4 SCSI card. You on the Hank Coffee YouTube channel, man. Yeah. <sighs> this card is supposed to be a faithful reproduction of the SP-4 cards that go in these. In a previous video, I installed an original SP-4 in my TS-12. A guy named Jaroslaw Tralka makes these cards. He is in Poland, by the way, and it took about a month for it to get here because it was tied up in customs. All right, first thing is to pull this bottom panel off. You have these screws back here, and then there's screws around the perimeter, and these screws here. Unlike the TS-12, I think all of these screws have to come out. What I do is I take them all out in a pattern so I can put them back in the exact same spot because some screws are coarse thread, especially the ones that go into plastic. I don't remember if this has any coarse threads in it, but either way, it's good to put them back in the same spot. These are two slots here, so I'll just remember left, right, 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 left, right, 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 right. <laughs> All right, this card will bolt in right here, of course. Got to take a little socket and spin those nuts off there and pull this plate off. Sit this over here on all of this rubber ribbon. If you want to take a look under the hood here, mod wheels, I have a USB drive right here. GoTech output board, uh, main board. Here's the RAM maxed it out. I don't have the sequencer expansion in here. I don't really think I need it because I save my stuff on the disc. I did put the sequencer expansion in my TS-12 though. Power supply, fuses, yeah. This is a quarter inch socket. Do not drop these nuts in lock washer. You could have a very bad day on what you would have to take off to get to it. Start going slow at the end of the threads. Boom. It would probably make sense to pull this ribbon cable off, but uh, I like a challenge. And I'm lazy. There we go. But if you don't have a scribe or the right stuff to take this off, it's probably better to do that and then to go yanking on this ribbon. You know, you know what I'm saying. This plate to come out of here just like this. The studs are made into the frame there. They're sort of tapped in. Here's the plate. Yeah. If we want to go component side down on this. Let's see how I want to fish this through here. It puts the notches on the post or else it gets the hose again. The harness is going to be right on that heat sink, man, for the five volt supply. And I just don't know how hot that thing gets. I don't want it burning through any wires. How about that? Catch me outside. How about that? I'm going to pull this ribbon cable loose just so it's out of the way. I don't know, put electrical tape on it. It's just pretty much in shape. There's no damn way I'm gonna be able to run it any other way. It's just gonna flop right back where it's at. See right here, that's a five volt supply. This is the heat sink to it. Don't know how hot that gets. But you never know, man. These Insonics get hot as a firecracker. All right, so here's what I'm doing, man. Putting this nut and lock washer on that post. Yeah. What you don't want to do is drop this and then go under that other green board. I shouldn't even be filming this while I'm doing it. See man, when you're just a damn technician master, you don't even need to put the camera down. You know what I'm saying? Sitting here doing this stuff one-handed dog. Since this harness here has been in this position so long and it really won't lay any other way, I just put some electrical tape around the section that lays on that heat sink. This is what I'm talking about. The cable's not touching the heat sink like this, but when it gets flipped upside down, or actually flipped right side up, I'm gonna let it fly like that, man. Push this scuzzy ribbon down in there. 
Make sure your pins are lined up. Man, that connection's tight, dude. Boy, that's gonna be hard to get back off. Plug the digital board back in. We just wanna put the lid in place and flip this thing upside down to make sure this card works before we go putting all the screws back in it. Let's see if the card works first. Yep, scuzzy. <laughs> Beautiful. Let me turn it back off. 5.5 mini. Got to run five volt to this because the SP4 or any in Sonic for that matter I don't think they power the SCSI bus. So the drive's gotta have their own power. SCSI to SD is plugged in. SCSI, let's go to ID one. Yeah. Yes, here are the CDRs that are on this ID. ID zero, I have some personal files on this one from the ASR. So let's see if this can read them. Sounds, banks, yes. Sounds. Here are my sound directories. Hank one, yes. Here are my sounds from the ASR 10. <laughs> this TS 10 now has SCSI. <laughs> this thing also has a pretty awesome go tech on it also. <laughs> Scuzzy's plugged in. Let's load some stuff up here. Synthesizer stuff. All right, let's do uh, synth bass. Put it there. Pop kit, yes. Put that right here. Yeah, Moog. Let's just try one of these. I'll just go ahead and like load these nine instruments up. Yeah. fretless whatever all right there's nine instruments this thing has some scars on it but that's what you have to put up with if you get a good deal on stuff you know the previous owner had masking tape here and if you leave masking tape on something for a long time it will not come off man it welds he was trying to scrape the masking tape off and scrape to the steel so i just put touch-up paint on it you know i could put a black sticker across there you know whatever let's see if i can whip something up for you real quick yeah wow that is a lot of reverb bro switch back over to this issue yeah Bah, 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 bah. Whatever. Yup, 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 yup. And for this instrument, uh, replace. Yeah, yeah. Here's a synth bass that we loaded. <laughs>
at the club tonight, boy. What the hell am I doing? I'm not paying attention to what I'm uh, filming. See if I can do something with that reverb. <laughs> well, it's kind of better dry, eh? I'm from Canada today. Where am I at? Okay. We'll mess with that in a minute. Shut up. Yes, Dan, guys. You get it. Hey guys, this is it for now. Thank you for coming by and I will see you next video.